This is a two-channel 64-step trigger sequencer for the Monum. It's designed to be used with a modular primarily. Um, it's so that you can see longer phrases, but it does two things kind of differently than a lot of other trigger sequencers. Uh, you would expect that you would be able to you know, press some buttons and, and have those played, which does work. Um, but if we're thinking about like longer 16 stage patterns, then one gesture that's helpful is to be able to set like all four pages is like 64 divided by 16. And then, so this first lane here on the top of each sequencer sets all the steps of the sequencer and then you can edit them independently. And you can always go back and set all the steps. Okay, so that's one thing that kind of makes this a little bit different. Uh, the other thing that makes this a little bit different is the fact that um, we can use less of the monum to elegantly display different subdivisions of time. So for example, I'm going to change the number of stages here and you're going to watch the background kind of disappear. Yeah, let me turn that off. So um, now you can see that we've got uh, seven, or I'm sorry, a row, a row of eight, and the ruler updates. So we've got like two little breaks in the ruler, and then uh, this is a set of 12, and we've got subdivisions at six, and it retains uh, whatever was on stages that were missing. So that's kind of like a feature. Um, this is another, uh, this is a set of... Um, this is 16. So you can do this on both monums, so, or I'm sorry, on both halves. So if we said uh, each one is going to be 16 steps, but they're only going to be two rows each, then we have that. And um, also because this is a trigger sequencer, which can have an almost arbitrary number of steps, it kind of it's going to depend on how many lanes it's actually displaying, um, there is a reset feature. So uh, you can have it reset to the next downbeat, or uh, so now I can just be like, this is a great way to play with polyrhythms, actually. <laughs> 